Good evening or good morning. This is Mr. Kranz at checking in. The reason I say good morning or good evening is because you could be watching this on March 16, which is a Monday, or March 17, which is a Tuesday, as long as you are watching this before 4 p.m., which is that, that deadline for every single assignment, you are good to go. Let's go over some things. This is Google Classroom. Obviously, you are already familiar with it. Uh, you know, this is your home page. I ignore the section. Obviously, the section doesn't matter because we can barely remember which section are you and you shouldn't care about it. I don't care about it. I don't discriminate against any section whatsoever. If you're finding here, if you're looking here, you're going to see that we have our first post. That's our first lesson. Uh, there is a couple of texts, uh, some text in here. Please read it. It's not necessarily important for the lesson, but it's just me are us saying hi hello how are you doing hope you're doing fine now every single day you're gonna find at least three links that's what we really care about because you and the same thing in class you have to complete everything in order to get full credit so we are gonna click into each one of them but just know that it follows the same format as we have in class usually you start learning a new topic, right? So we have our lesson in the beginning. We have some questions that we want to answer. We want to make our hypothesis or how we are able to answer the question that we are asked. Uh, then we're gonna start learning some things from maybe videos, right? Some text, some visuals, some things that we have uh, to our disposal because this is the internet, guys. We have the whole knowledge of the world in our hands. Okay. Um, we also have here a practice today's just a text, small text with some questions. And right here is your exit ticket. So let's go through each one of them really quick. Uh, this is your lesson for today, which is heredity. If it sounds a lot like inherited, it's because they're related. Uh, I'm gonna go over in a minute, but let's just see right here. We have some text, we have some images. Uh, you're gonna have some videos in the future, uh, either me talking or some videos that I find on YouTube or online or some websites that are really useful. Uh, maybe some really cool activities that you could do on your own as well. Um, but right now, this is just something we already covered, inherited traits, acquired traits. Please answer those questions. Uh, after you answer those questions, go to the next link, which is another practice. This is ad text um, that you should be reading. No annotation required for today. And some questions after that. And finally, we have our exit ticket for the day. Please don't go over the first two links and then leave this one empty. You need to answer everything to get full credit. Oh, what are we have here? It's our reminder, right? So reminder, we meet in Google Meet every single day be between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Really important. Please remember that we're checking in every single day at 9.30 p.m. for the science class. This is sixth grade science class. We are checking in every single day at 9.30. If you have any questions, please let me know. You have my email. You can also comment in here if you have trouble accessing every, accessing anything. Um, make, a nice, make a nice comments. No trolling, please. Now, let's go over the lesson really quick. So we already know what inherited and acquired traits are, but let's just start anew. Let's start from the beginning because we have at our disposal a lot of new tools that we didn't have in the classroom. So we should really start from the start, but also broaden out. So we are gonna have more information that we can use to understand new topics. Uh, and this is a re really great advantage of online classes that if you have a question about vocabulary that we're using, you could just jump into Google right at the moment and learn that new word. You could, maybe you have, it's some topics are unclear. You could jump into YouTube and just watch some videos or uh, just Google some cool links. And yeah, it's, it, the possibilities are endless. You should be as excited as I am. And I hope you are. But let's go over the topic really quick. So heredity is the science of inherited characteristics, right? So inher heredity is what we call the whole area that we are studying in the following weeks. Uh, obviously, we already know that inherited traits are a big part of it, is the information that we get from our parents. Uh, what we call our genes, our traits, right? The traits that are found in genes. Um, and that are passed down from parents to children. Now we're gonna stop using the word children 
And if I use the word children, please correct me. We're going to start using the word offspring, and I'm going to put it right here really big. Offspring is what we call children of every single organism. And the reason we don't say children is because it might be a little odd to call the offspring of bacteria the children of bacteria, right? Or the children of plants. So we're going to start using this word offspring. Even if we're talking about humans, we're going to say offspring. Uh, and it's good because we are going to look at different materials online that are going to use this word. Uh, so the more we use it, the more we get accustomed to it. Now, this is just an example of heredity, right? So it's, uh, in this case, it's an illness, hemophilia, which is transmitted uh, from parents to kids. That means it's inherited. It's an inherited trait, just as much as the color of your hair or the color of your eyes are. Um, hemophilia, if you're interested, you know what to do. Just Google it, right? I'll try to put some useful information on different topics. Uh, by the way, let me go back a second. If you see an extra link, it would actually say extra credit. That means that it's extra credit. And a lot of you, I know you guys not only want extra credit, but also to learn more. Something Sometimes we're limited to the things that we learn in class. And online is a really good way to go that extra step. Learn things that maybe we don't are not required to learn in sixth grade, but are really cool. And we're gonna learn in the future as well, or they just it's super interesting and let's say just about coronavirus right we are not required to learn about viruses and coronaviruses um but we learn about it because there are um really important things that we should know about or we care about or we are interested in right so don't limit yourself to the things that we cover in class we can learn obviously many many more things uh, let's go back to this example so let's just go over some examples of inherited and acquired traits this is for today uh, let's go back from the beginning. So inherited traits are characteristics that we get from our parents, right? So these are things that we are born with. These are not things that we learn. These are things that we, the moment we are born, the moment we are conceived, uh, they start developing, right? Because they are found in the parent, in the cells of our parents. And if we get the traits from our parents, that means that they are also in our cells. They are also in our genes. Um, one example is zebra stripes, right? Zebra stripes, they are born with it. They don't get uh, this really bad case of tan, of tanning. Uh, they are born with stripes. Um, polar bear claws, right? They do not get... Um, I was going to mention that joke. Never mind. Uh, polar bear claws, right? Uh, another example is eye color, right? We sometimes in class we say that it could be both. It could be acquiring heritage. That means because sometimes we can put a contact of a contact of a different color and that's true but if we're talking about the color of our irises right the color of our organs no, that's a different thing right we cannot actually change the color of the iris cells that we have in there right uh, turtle shells not acquired traits acquired traits is something that uh, might not be part of heredity as we talk about it but it's super important to make the distinction uh, we're gonna keep encountering acquired traits that sometimes we might think they're inherited but we find out um, through research and through observations that we are actually not born with it or maybe an organism is not born with it they learn or they get it from their environment uh, some example is riding a bike uh, you are not born being a good bike rider you learn to learn to ride it cutting paper you might have the ability to cut paper through your muscles and through the movement that is inherited from your parents in every single human but the ability or the skill to cut paper is something that you are going to acquire that you're going to learn counting the same way right we have the ability to count we have the brain that we can use that we inherited to count and to do so many things as humans but the skill to count is something that we learn we acquire and that's the end for now Right here, we just have a cute example. So you have two kittens in here, two cups from Jaguars. Uh, you're gonna find here, this is the mom. Um, but just looking at these two pups or these two cups, you know the other parent probably has this pattern, right? Because this cup should have acquired this pattern from one of the parents. And uh, one thing that is really good to start understanding, and we're gonna go into it, is that 
the pattern or the trait that you get is from one of the parents. It's not a combination of both. So just realize that we are not mixing traits. We are getting a trait from either parent, okay? Um, and just for those of you who don't know, don't remember when I mentioned any class, Jaguars, sometimes they come with uh, black fur and that's what we call panthers. So panthers are just big cats and big cats are Jaguars, leopards and other cats that have a black fur trait variable, right? So tomorrow we're going to go more into it, but we already mentioned variables in class. So you should know the trait variable for this specific fur trait is black. And I'm going to leave you with this. So these are, again, two kitties. But if you look closely, you're going to see that one of the kittens has a different color. So this color is black and you see the parents, the parents don't have this color. So just start thinking why offspring might have a different trait that is not found in, apparently is not found in e either parent. Um, maybe it is found, right? So we're gonna start thinking about that. This is just a question. It's not for today's lesson. It's something you should be thinking of the back of your head. If you wanna start researching, you can do it as well. But it's just something super interesting that we're gonna cover uh, by Friday, I promise. Uh, this is me signing out. And please remember, check-in is at 9.30 every single day. I'm going to put a note. Oh, sorry, guys. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not checking at 9.30. And you have a good night or a good day. Uh, please go over the lessons to make sure you don't miss anything. And if you're not able to submit or to look at the videos, please let me know. Um, sometimes internet is slow, sometimes things happen, I understand, but please let us know in advance. And if you need anything, please let us know as well. Could be food, could be internet, could be maybe things that we want to know. I'll stop rambling right now. Have a nice day. Oh, good night. Bye-bye.